graphs. So, so that's one, three, five, seven, nine, or what, how did I, one, three, one, three, five, seven, oh, what, five, cannot count, what the hell? Ignore me, it's, all right, so, so, that, so that's what it is. It's, it's the same thing, it's just like twisted over. So, so th this was kind of eye-opening to me and, and, and I've, I've explained this to like, like students before when they're like, oh, what are those things in the top hand corner? And this is what it is. So, so if you're using like a hypergraph or, or, or a graph editor or whatever program or whatever they decide to call it in there, that's all that really is. So is, is this. So so when I'm doing things, it's usually one and nine would be my my so so this drawing. Let's do it. So so this is my key. This is my key. And then to get things to go, like I would have to do this is probably a breakdown or this one. So one of those two is a breakdown. Maybe that's a breakdown too, but depending on how things go. So but let's just do it as a half. So so if you think of it like this, this is like say a half. Kind of thing and then this is could be a half or this could be a third it depends on which part of the drawing i'm doing so so that's what a graph editor really is or a curve editor or oh my god a curve editor or graph editor and a chiming chart it's just it's the same thing it's just turned and twisted so if you'll see in in maya or or even whatever harmony or something this you'll you'll see like multiple ones of them right so that might this might be the the this might be a body curve and this could be like say a head curve Right, so it'd be the same thing. So this is the head. He's here at this thing, and then here, say like this is like say this is eleven. That's the key for the head. So it's the same sort of process as I'm doing this. So I'm not really making everything exactly.